Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa 16 here, and today I'm doing my um, things that I think that you should take to college video. I don't know, dorm essentials? Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. Um, so I just got this list right here. You probably can't see it, but it's like a bunch of, yeah, you can't see it, but it's like a bunch of things that I think you guys should bring. I wanted to write it all down so I don't forget. I'm probably, I probably left some stuff off. So if I did, just like leave a comment and say, you guys should also bring this or whatever but um first i'm just gonna go through the list and like explain um why i think you should bring it so the first one is the laundry basket and i feel like that one's pretty self-explanatory like you need a laundry basket to put your clothes in and take them to the laundry room and like back to your room and stuff um i also recommend laundry detergent so you can make sure you have nice clean clothes for class or whatever um i also recommend getting a mini fridge because well, in college, the cafeteria is not always going to be open and the food court isn't always going to be open. And so you're going to, it's going to be times where you don't feel like going to the cafeteria and you might not feel like going to the food court. So you can just stay in your room and you already have like food and snacks available in your fridge. Um, I suggest getting pillows as well so you can sleep comfortably in sheets. I also recommend getting two sets of, two sets of sheets instead of just one because, um, if you need to change your sheets but you don't feel like going to wash the one set that you have you can always have like a backup set until you're ready to wash your load of clothes that you're going to wash um also it's just getting a comforter because those dorm rooms are pretty cold i know some dorm rooms you are not allowed to control like the uh temperature in them so i don't know if your dorm room is like that but mine isn't but um you're gonna need it you know if you get cold if you get hot you can you know take it off or whatever um obviously you need snacks snacks are super good they are essential to college life like i don't know what it is about college but ever since i went there like i've just gotten an appetite to eat everything so i don't know if it's just me but i just really felt very hungry all the time when i went to college i don't know maybe it's all the carbs i was eating um next I suggest getting cleaning supplies obviously your dorm isn't gonna stay clean by itself so you're gonna need stuff to make sure it stays clean um, I recommend getting like a broom in a mile I'm sorry my thigh is like itchy if you're like wondering what I'm doing but um, you need a broom a mop or a Swiffer I you I had all three but I um, I really didn't use the mop that much um, definitely need a broom in case like you just want to make sure the floor is nice and tidy or whatever uh, I also suggest getting Clorox wipes to like clean the um, desk and make sure it's clean when you get there like you're gonna want to wipe everything down and make sure everything is disinfected for the um, before you start like actually living there because you don't want to stay somewhere and you don't know what's been there or what's happened there or anything um, bathroom cleaner if you have your own bathroom um, I know like when I was a freshman and I had I had to stay in the dorms I had community bathrooms so they clean the bathrooms for us so we didn't need to like have bathroom cleaner but this year in my dorms that i'm staying in we have our own bathroom so we have to clean it so you need bathroom cleaner if you have your own bathroom um paper towel just in case like you spill something you need to clean it up you don't want to use like an actual towel you could just get paper towels obviously um and also you can use paper towel to clean like the uh, mirrors or the windows or whatever you need to dust or something like that or you can get a duster. I really don't think that's necessary. Just get like a towel to clean it or a paper towel. But if you want a duster, you can definitely get it. Um, I also suggest getting extension cords or power strips because a lot of dorm rooms, they don't have a lot of outlets. And I know being a college student, you probably have a bunch of different stuff to plug up, like your laptop charger, your phone charger, maybe a hair straightener, hair dryer, something like that, TV, whatever. So you're gonna need a, an extension cord. My dorm personally didn't allow us to have extension cords, but we could have power strips. And I think the main difference between power strips and extension cords is the fact that it had like the power strips, you can turn them off and like they turn off automatically when they overheat or something like that. If they have the little switch thing, I can't remember what it's called, but they got the little switch thing and it turns off automatically to prevent like any fires or anything happening like that. Um, so I definitely definitely recommend getting a power strip um, Also recommend getting batteries just because you may not know 
like you may have a calculator or something that needs batteries and you need it for a test but you ran out like your batteries died so now you can't use it for the test but you got batteries because you listened to me and got them also get batteries for like your remote for your tv um if you have a facial brush that spins you know you might need batteries for that you know different things like that um also suggest getting a desk lamp just because like um you may have to study or do your homework or something you want to do it late at night and you might share a room with your roommate and so your roommate might be trying to sleep but you're trying to do your work it's not really going to work if you have like the full light on so it's better to just get like a desk lamp so you're not being a bad roommate and like disturbing them and keeping them from um, getting the sleep they need also I recommend getting a full-length mirror this one right here um, I don't really use because it's like way too high up off the ground and it's also cracked but that's kind of an example of one that you can get I got it from Walmart for like five dollars and I was hammering it into my wall and I accidentally hit the glass and it broke so um, yeah get one like that at Walmart um, this isn't the one I had in my dorm. I had one in my dorm, but it was black and I got it from Walmart like that one, but it broke. So I had to get a new one. Well, I didn't get a new one, but my roommate gave me hers when she was, when she moved out. But yeah, you can get them at Walmart. I really don't know where else you can get them. Probably anywhere else they sell like home decor or something like that. But I think a full mirror would be good to like, make sure you check out yourself before you go to class. Make sure you don't have wrinkles in your clothes or like your outfit matches and it looks good or something like that. You know, just want to like make sure you look nice for class um next i recommend getting an iron or a steamer just like if you care about wrinkles in your clothes i know a lot of students don't but like if you're one of those like you need to be presentable or you um need like you might need to steam something for like a business casual outfit or something obviously you don't want wrinkles in that like if you have a job interview or something like that so i recommend getting like an iron and if you do end up getting an iron also you're gonna need an ironing board um, I think Walmart sells like those miniature ironing boards, but I'm not sure how much they cost because I didn't have an iron I just got a steamer. So yeah, you know get that make sure you're like you look nice decent whatever um, Also, I recommend getting a shower caddy because uh, If you have community bathrooms like obviously you're probably gonna have a lot of stuff to carry back and forth to the bathroom so you're not gonna want to just carry it all in your arms on your way walking out the bathroom so get a shower caddy and it'll just hold like everything that you need for the shower now this year i'm saying like i said i'm staying like i'm having my own bathroom and i'm sharing it with the roommate but i'm still going to use my shower caddy because i don't want to like take up a lot of space in the bathroom because i don't know how big it is and i don't want to just like leave my stuff in there and then she has nowhere to put her stuff so i'm just going to use my shower caddy still that i had from last year just like to make sure she has space for her things also if you have community bathrooms i recommend shower shoes I'm probably still going to use shower shoes, not that I think my roommate is nasty or anything, but just because, like, I don't know who's been in that bathroom before I got there, and I don't know how clean it is, so I just want to, like, be precautious and not just, you know, um, just put my bare feet on the floor in the shower. Also, I recommend getting um, some large towels. Obviously, you're going to need towels, like, when you take showers and stuff, washcloths. Um, the large towels, I recommend getting about seven so you can have one every day and you don't have to worry about going to wash, um, wash towels every day because you only have one or something like that. So just get seven, like one for every day of the week. And also I recommend getting more than seven small towels because you can use small towels for a lot of different things and you might, you know, you might need a small towel for something and then you only had seven so now you have to go wash clothes a day early because you only had seven so get a pretty good amount of towels the towels that i got from my dorm this year i got them from jc penny but i know walmart has really good cheap towels that are like pretty good quality so i also recommend going there also i recommend getting a hair dryer if you uh use a hair dryer like on your hair like that i really don't use a blow dryer but i do use like those um dryers that you sit under so I don't know if I'm gonna take that because that's probably gonna take up a lot of room but if you have enough room for it and you need it I suggest bringing it you know um, also you know a hairbrush and a comb just to make sure your hair is neat for class every day hair products you know stuff like that to make sure you're keeping yourself up your hygiene body wash toothpaste you know pretty basic stuff um, blankets I recommend bringing blankets because those dorm rooms can get cold and like Sometimes your roommate might be hot. They might have just came from outside because in the fall when it, when you're first getting back to school It's still like super hot outside and you got to walk to all your classes. So 
<laughs> it's, it's like really hot. Um, and your roommate might have just came from outside or they're just feeling really hot And so they want the air on high, but you don't want the air on high, but you want to be considerate So just you know get a blanket or whatever I mean obviously don't let your roommate run over you like if you're like freezing then just tell them but don't just like Hog the AC and like only make only let the AC be on what you want to be like you have to share it had to compromise So I'll suggest getting blankets, you know blankets are and also blankets are super cute to decorate with because like the way my dorm is going to be set up this year i'm gonna have like a blanket at the bottom of my bed and, it, and then i might layer it with another blanket but i'm not sure yet but it's gonna be so cute like just stay tuned for the dorm the dorm video that i'm making the dorm um tour yeah that's what i meant to say and dorm hall i'm doing the dorm hall too but um anyways next i suggest getting deodorant now when i tell you it's so many kids that go to my college just in general that are so musty like it's just it's sad like I thought I was dealing with adults not kindergartners first graders make sure you use deodorant every day especially when it's hot because that heat plus that is just just please get deodorant please 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 um, also get razors if you use them, you know, don't forget those. Those are really important. <laughs> um, Q-tips. I use Q-tips a lot. I use them pretty much every day, especially when I do my makeup. Because I do, like, when I do the bottom mascara, I always get it on my, um, the bottom part of your bottom lid. And I hate that look, so I have to, like, use a Q-tip to get it off. And then also, I don't clean my ears, but I clean, like, I mean, I don't clean in my ears because you're not supposed to use Q-tips in there, but... I clean my earrings to make sure like they're not getting gunky and dirty and I clean around my ears with um, alcohol um, I also recommend bringing makeup of course if you don't wear makeup then don't go out and buy makeup unless you like know what you're doing because don't waste your money on makeup like it's not that serious if you don't already have it because there's so many other things that are important for you to buy for your dorm I feel like makeup isn't really important unless like obviously you have it already or you know how to use it and stuff and also rugs you need rugs let me tell you okay so in my dorm room last year i had like tile on my floor and the floor was cold ice cold and i'm like those i'm the type of person i really don't like wearing shoes in my room like i don't like wearing my house shoes at all i just like being barefoot and i know that's kind of gross to some people but i just don't like wearing shoes and so cold floor plus marissa's feet do not mix they don't so getting a rug was essential for me like i had to have a rug i can't just wake up in the morning and boom my feet are on super cold floor like no i need to have like a warming up period or something so i just got some rugs i got i only got one rug. well i had two, one rug when i first got there and then i ended up getting another rug for underneath my desk just so i won't have to like wear shoes every time i feel like studying and i have to sit on the floor like my feet i was sitting and then my feet touched the floor obviously so like if i didn't have shoes on my feet were gonna be constantly on the floor and being cold so i was like no i need to get a rug so i just got a rug underneath my desk so i had two rugs and um i don't know if i'm gonna bring back one of those rugs but i know i bought a new rug for my um, dorm this year which is way cuter and it's longer and it was cheaper so yeah get rugs basically moral of the story um also recommend hangers of course you're gonna have uh, either a closet or a wardrobe and so the difference between the closet and a wardrobe if you don't know a closet is obviously a closet you know like it's a room a small room or a big room whichever one and you just put your clothes in there obviously you guys know what a closet is but a wardrobe is like it's basically a closet except it's not built into the wall and it's also way smaller and it's kind of tall well i'm comparing my closet to the wardrobe at my school but it was way taller than um a closet um yeah so get hangers um i used to use the plastic hangers and, and my clothes fell off like all the time every time i looked through them something was falling so i um i'm trying to switch over to the velvet hangers i only got 25 but i need to get some more i got mine from burlington but you'll see that in my dorm hall what, what am I doing with my, with my hands? Um, so yeah, make sure you bring different types of clothes. When you come to college, you're not just gonna be wearing sweatpants all the time because obviously you're gonna go to parties and stuff. 
So if you go, to, I mean, if you go to parties, obviously, like I'm not gonna say it's required to go to parties in college, but if you go to parties, you're gonna need clothes, dress up clothes to go to parties. Um, I recommend wearing like bringing a couple things. Don't just bring like your whole um, your whole wardrobe from home because you're not gonna be able to fit it in your in your um, dorm closet or wardrobe, whatever you guys have. But um, when I was moving into my freshman dorm room, dorm room. I underestimated how much space I was gonna have. Like I thought I was gonna have a super small, tiny closet. And that was not the case. My closet was bigger than I thought. Well, not closet, wardrobe, I'm sorry. My wardrobe was way bigger than I thought. And so I barely had any clothes and I needed more. <laughs> like, because I didn't have, I didn't bring any party clothes cause I really didn't think that I was gonna go to parties and stuff, which I didn't, but still, this year I am. <laughs> yeah, this year I am, but, um. Yeah, bring some party clothes. Moral of, the, moral of the story. Don't wear heels to parties, you guys. Do not. Especially if you're a girl. Well, I mean, boys and girls can wear heels if they want. But, like, just don't. And don't wear them to parties. Like, it's going to be so uncomfortable standing up in heels, dancing, whatever, for a long time. Unless you're, like, really good at wearing heels. Um, also, make sure you have some business casual clothes. Because I know I got invited to a couple things and I had, I needed business business casual clothes and I didn't have any so I really didn't go because like I didn't want to feel out of place if I didn't have those things you know so make sure you get at least one or two business casual outfits for you know different events you might get invited to like you might get invited to do some kind of interview internship you know anything I don't know uh, and also bring everyday clothes you know hoodies sweatshirts uh, t-shirts long sleeve shirts leggings jeans stuff like that you know everything everyday stuff like i feel like bring the stuff that you wear the most you know if you leave it at home then you're gonna miss it or you're gonna need it or you're gonna wish that you had it make sure everything that you bring is something that you're gonna wear like don't be like maybe i'll wear this or maybe i'll not like no just bring the stuff that you know you're gonna wear the things that you wear normally um also, make sure don't you don't overdo it with shoes because I really don't have that many shoes, but I had so many that I didn't even wear. Like, I used to wear the same, like, two or three shoes every day, and that was it. Not every day, but, like, every week. So, just don't don't bring a lot of shoes unless you are, you're the type of person who wears a lot of different shoes. But I'm the type of person that wears the same shoes, like, every day. Well, every, yeah, every day. Um, also, I suggest getting a mattress protector because... Um, well, excuse me, when you're in your dorm room, you're going to have the mattress pad, which is like, it adds cushioning to your, your bed, and then you're going to have a mattress protector, which you basically put your mattress pad down, and then you put the mattress protector over it, so that, like, your sheets don't touch the bed, because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it would be weird to, like, have my bare sheets on the bed, you know? But yeah, get that, a mattress pad and a mattress protector. Um, also, I recommend getting decorations. Now, when I say decorations, I don't mean go and buy the whole wall decor from the Hobby Lobby or Burlington or Ross, wherever else you get your decor. Like, don't go crazy. Just be moderate. Um, this little pink picture back here is one of the pictures I had on my wall in my dorm. And also I had like two or three other ones dare I say four no I think I had two or three other ones and so they were they were pretty good size and they fit don't get a lot of stuff for your wall because when you're moving out no one's gonna help you like well I mean obviously you might have help but like it's a lot it's like it's moving out is the worst I'm just keep it real um, and also the more um, wall decorations you have the more command strips you're gonna have to buy um, and command strips are, are not cheap. Well, some are, but I'm trying to drive home the point. Just don't do it. Just don't. Um, yeah, that was my next thing on my list, command strips. I really can't remember how much command strips were, but I know that, like, last year when I was moving in, I had a tapestry, and apparently I didn't know that you couldn't get tapestries on your wall, so my RA told me to take it down. Needless to say, I was kind of mad because... I went through so many command strips trying to keep that thing up and it wouldn't even stay up. 
So I just took it down like she told me to. Obviously I was gonna do it anyway, but still. Um, storage. I don't recommend you getting a lot of different storage things. You really only need under bed storage and probably like beside bed storage because I had um, some bins. I had my, I have my laundry basket and then I had another bin with random stuff that I, that like I didn't need but it was still in my dorm and then I had another bin for my um snacks and then I had my refrigerator all underneath my bed so that was like four good things four good things yeah those were good things that I had under my bed I'm sorry if I sound sick you guys I don't know what's wrong with me my throat is like hurting but yeah so I had that this video is getting really long but anyway I'm sorry you guys we only have a couple more things and I had the the storage beside my bed which had like things like towels my pain medicine my perfumes that I didn't use <laughs> um my toothbrush toothpaste uh my facial wash stuff like that that really couldn't fit anywhere else I put it in there which is one of those like storage things like that you get from Walmart the clear containers you know yeah I suggest getting one of those because it really came in handy um also, I recommend getting, I already said Swiffer, yeah, I already said that. School supplies, okay. School supplies, I recommend getting a notebook, um, a laptop, pencils. Also, um, if you, if you want to keep up, because like some teachers give handouts. So if you want to keep up with the handouts, then you could get a binder for that. But I really don't see the need in getting a binder, honestly. Like if you got one of those five-star notebooks, just put everything in there. Um, you could use highlighters if you if you use them already like if you know you study with them you use them get them but like don't just get them just in just in the thought that I might use them like if you don't already use them then just don't get them because you're, you're probably not gonna use them um, also if you're one of those people who are really busy and need a planner to keep up with everything then get a planner but I'm really not busy like that so I really didn't use my planner like that because I pretty much remembered everything I needed to do and also you're gonna need textbooks because um, it's college and you have to pay for your own textbooks apparently. Textbooks are expensive too, so make sure you shop around and you don't just go to the the, the um, bookstore at your school because they probably cost the most. Um, I know it's this place that everybody in my school goes to, textbook brokers, they're the truth. Like their prices are way cheaper. And also you can go on like Amazon and find some probably or Chegg or wherever else places that you might know of. Um, also, before you go to class, don't, um, get your books before you go to class unless your, your, um, professor emails you and tells you, oh, you need to read this, this, or this before we start class. We're going to start class, blah, 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 on this, you know, make sure you don't get your books before that because some teachers might require a book, a textbook, but they don't even use it. Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't even use any of my textbooks that I got from last semester except for, like, one. Mostly, you get the textbooks for the access code, and the access code is to like do your homework and stuff. You have to pay to do your homework. But my textbooks cost like a good 270 this semester, so I'm definitely not getting those until somebody tells me I need them because I'm tired of wasting money on books that I don't use. Like that's just so. I really don't understand why teachers even require textbooks if they don't, if they're if they're not gonna use them. But I don't know. Besides the point. That's all I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope you got some good information. I hope um, you guys have a good uh, first semester if you're coming into college or whatever semester you're going into. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Bye. I wish you would come home, but I'm just trying to balance my space.